So let's get on uh, to the meat of the presentation. First of all, what, what is Archimed and what, do, what does it provide? Well, this is, of course, familiar to any Archimed 2 user or any Archimed 1 user already. Archimed provides you a language with concepts to describe enterprise architectures, and it has its inbuilt framework for organizing these concepts. Uh, and I will show you how this framework has evolved over the years. Of course, Archimed provides a notation for these concepts, so it provides you a way, a way of graphically displaying your architecture. But it also has this vision on visualization of architecture for different stakeholders. So this notation is not the only way you can display these models. You might want to use other ways of doing that. And later on in my presentation, I will also touch upon that when we are going to talk about viewpoints. And finally, of course, it's an open standard maintained by the open group. Uh, but since you're attending an open group webinar, you will know about that. So why did we develop a new version of Archimate? Um, well, development of, of the new version started about two years ago, and um, over the last few years, since version 2 came out, we saw an increasing demand for relating enterprise architecture to business strategy. More and more organizations have recognized that EA is not just an IT thing, but it's really a way of uh, realizing your strategy, of, of implementing a strategy, and vice versa also, a feedback mechanism up towards the strategy. So architecture uh, should be connected better to the strategic world. Secondly, we see that there are a lot of technology innovations that mix IT and the physical world. Um, take, for example, the Internet of Things. In Archimate 2, it was possible to model the Internet, but we didn't have any concepts for the things. So the physical world is something we needed to add, and also in more traditional uh, domains, like manufacturing or logistics or uh, other, say, physically-based companies, we see increased usage of enterprise architecture, so we wanted to support those domains with concepts for modeling the physical world as well. Then, of course, in applying a language like Archimate in practice, you always can uh, discover some inconsistencies or things that could be improved, or uh, we can, well, various areas in, we, in which we wanted to uh, improve the usability and make it easier for people to understand the language. And finally, uh, of course, the Open Group has, has more standards than just Archimate, and we wanted to improve the alignment between these standards. And, of course, most importantly in the enterprise architecture domain is TOGAF. Um, so there was already a project working on harmonization between Archimate and TOGAF for the last two years, looking at definitions, etc. So that's also been input to this new version. Um, I won't read out all the definitions to you. Don't worry about that. But you can find in the standard the differences and see which uh, definitions have been improved on. So first of all, the Archimate framework. Um, well, those of you who are familiar with Archimate know that it's, uh, its, its core is constructed of three different aspects, as we call them. We have the active structure aspect, which comprises the subjects of the sentence, if you want to put it in, a, in grammatical terms. In this case, John. We have the behavior, uh, in the, the verbs in the sentence, so in this case, John reads, and what does he read? He reads a book, and the book is an object. So this active structure, behavior, behavior passive structure, that's really the core of the structure of the language. That has been like this is ever since uh, the inception of Archimate. And in its first version, we have these three layers of business application and technology, which were and perhaps still are the most common layers you see uh, in enterprise architecture approaches. Um, some people might say you want to have an information layer there as well, but it's very important to note that Archimate uses this passive structure column to position information architecture. So it's not a separate layer, but it's integrated across these three layers. So the information uh, really resides in the passive structure aspect and not in a separate layer. So this was Archimate 1. This was what, where we started when Archimate was transferred to the open group. Uh, this was what was developed in the R&D project that uh, I managed between 2002 and 2004, as I've already mentioned. But then when people started working with Archimate, they discovered that it did cover the core of the architecture, but it didn't cover the motivation behind the architecture. Things like your goals and your principles and your requirements. So that's the first edition we made. And, of course, you also want to describe how an architecture should be implemented, so which steps to take, plateaus, which work packages should, should implement parts of that. So those were the two main additions to Archimate in version 2, the motivation and implementation and migration extensions, as they were then called. Uh, later on, I will talk about the word extension. We're not going to use it anymore in Archimate 3, but uh, I'll leave that for now. 
So where are we, where, where are we now? Well, first of all, like I mentioned at the, at the start, people are increasingly using enterprise architecture in a more strategic context. And um, of course, many people ask for concepts in this area already for the last years, and perhaps capability as a concept is the most prominent one. We'll talk about that later on. So we now have some more strategic concepts to link architecture to uh, where the organization wants to go. And secondly, we have this uh, layer of physical concepts. Um, and as I already said in my introduction, this is tightly integrated with the IT world, since we see that physical technology often is IT-based as well. The Internet of Things is just one example, but most equipment nowadays is computer controlled. So it's really tightly coupled to the technology layer. I will dis discuss it later on as well. So this is now the new framework for Archimate 3. So these different areas are now covered by uh, the language, and that's what, the, what we'll zoom in on uh, in uh, the rest of this talk.